hi welcome to my channel today I'm going to show you how to take these butterfly wings and attach them to a picture how to blend them in make them look more natural I like to do composites they're one of my favorite things I do them all the time so this is probably just the first of several videos that I'll do showing different composites different things to do because I really enjoy doing it it's a lot of fun so first we need to get these wings off so we are going to Use the selection brush this time. We're just going to select the butterfly wings here and there. And then we're going to click refine and we're just going to make sure we got it all. Okay, if it's not cooperating, just click on foreground and just click in the butterfly where the foreground is and it kind of fills in for you. We don't need all of this, so we're going to take that out, but let's just, oops, see, I got too much. So let's see if it's going to work this time. Nope. So click background and then click in the background area and there, it takes it back out. Right. The most precise way to do a cutout is the pen tool. But I am not going to do that in this video. I will show that in another video. But all right, so we're going to click apply and and then we're going to actually hold the alt key and we're going to just kind of erase out that guy and then we're going to reselect that in there yeah we just don't need all of this all right and then i'm going to do Control j and that copies just the selection so now we have over here a new layer with the wings so Control d gets rid of your selection and then we're just going to copy it you can either right click on it and do copy or Control c come over here and you can paste or Control v also paste and there we go we can leave them this size we can shrink them make them really little make them bigger do whatever you want you can tilt them i think we're going to tilt them a little whoops hey there we go I think we'll have them like that and now I'm just going to bring them in and put them where I would think they would attach to her back so, you know every girl needs wings popping out of their back when they're walking the dog huh all right so now we need to with this wing layer selected we need to make a mask and then get the brush tool just push B on your keyboard it pulls up the brush tool and that is really little there we go Make sure you have black paint and we're just going to brush on that mask and it's going to get rid of the things we don't want. And since I'm on a different computer today, I can't touch my screen and just make it easy. So <laughs> this might take an extra minute and it's not going to be quite as neat. So let's see if you want to get her hair, you can come in here and get all that and then you can change paint color to white get a smaller brush and then just sort of brush it back in around the hair it doesn't have to be perfect and you just brush in little spots here and there I don't know just for demonstration we're not going to get too fancy of course if you're doing this for yourself you probably want to take a little more time and make it look better all right so the next thing we do, well, there's lots of different things we can do, but the next thing that I want to do is get rid of this color here. I don't really want it. So I'm going to go to adjustments and we're going to do a, an HSL. There it is. And make sure that it is attached to the, the wing layer and not the whole picture. And I'm just going to take the saturation out. And if you want color in your wings, this, this isn't going to work. This is only for black and white wings. So there's that. All right. And now it's, it's very bright and it's a little bit sharp compared to the rest of the picture. So I want to click on adjustments and go to, oh, it's not adjustments up here, layers, sorry. New Life Filter Layer Blur. There it is. Gaussian Blur. All right. And we just want to blur it a little. Not very much. 
Um, there we'll start out a little higher and go down. We just want it to blend with the rest of the picture. And the rest of the picture is pretty sharp, but it's not as sharp as that was. There we go. That looks pretty good. So we'll just leave it at that. All right. And now I, I wanted to make my wings a little translucent. Like you could see through them just a little, but not too much. And so um, I played around with that a lot and I finally came up with something that works for me. All right, this is what I did. I made a copy of the wings. So with the wing layer selected, just control J and it makes a new copy. And then I changed this top layer. I changed the blend mode to multiply. And then the bottom layer, I changed the blend mode to screen. And then on the screen layer, if you go to opacity and you just start going down and you can go down a lot. Let's see, it leaves because of, because this top layer is multiply. It's showing all the black, but all the white is gone. And the screen layer, all the white is there, but all the black is gone. And so I'm able to just take out the white by lowering the screen. So I could go all the way down and we could have just the, the black. So this is the multiply layer. And as we go up, it puts in that screen layer behind it because it's below. So if the screen layer was on top, it wouldn't work out so well. So you could just have it as translucent as you want. That's pretty good. And I am going to actually um, make this a group. So we are going to click on that one and we are going to hold control and click on this one and then control G makes it a group. Because I'm going to do something with the wings again. I am going to change the lighting a little because um, the sun, you can tell, is coming from over here and it's got long skinny shadows that the whole wing is kind of lit up. It's not very shadowy, so I need to change it. You know, before I do that though, I'm going to actually add the shadow down here. Let me do that. So we don't need this whole thing. So we are going to take one of these layers, it doesn't matter which one, and just copy it and control J. And then we're just going to bring it out on top. All right, then we'll close the group. Okay, we're going to change the name to shadow so we can remember what we're doing. And then we're going to change the blend mode back to normal. And we're going to get the little move tool over here and move it out of the way for just a minute. Okay. We're going to put the opacity all the way back up for now. All right. And I'm going to, the, I think I need to, yeah, it doesn't look right. Let's um, flip it vertically. Yeah, that's better. All right. And then we're going to move it over here. Now, the shadows that morning were small and skinny everywhere. You can see them. So we need to shrink this a lot and make it skinny and then attach it wherever you think it might work. And we can always go back and adjust later if you think it's not looking quite right. That's okay. Um, it's probably somewhere around there. This is her body. It's hard to tell, but we'll just put it kind of like that. Okay, so for the shadow layer, we actually are gonna get rid of this mask. We don't really need that mask. We are going to make another mask though in just a minute, but first I'm going to come to, I can't find anything on a different computer. It's so funny. All right. We're going to come down here to adjustments and we're going to get the channel mixer out and we're going to come over here where it says RGB and we're going to pick gray. Oh, and we're going to attach this to the shadow wings. There we go. And we are going to lower that all the way down and then we are going to oh, move these around until we get it to blend a little more. Let's go down here to the Gaussian blur real quick and blur it. There we go. I knew I was forgetting something. Okay. Get it nice and blurry. Now we can come back up to the channel mixer. We're, we're trying to get it to match this color. 
it's really hard at the moment. <laughs> but let's play with these. Just slide these around. See how it's... There we go. That's a little better. Yeah, eh, not quite. Let's maybe move this up a little. No, no, that's got to stay down. Maybe this one. There we go. Yeah, it's tricky. To get it just right. Let's change the opacity of the whole layer a little. There we go. Oh, that's so close. Just play around with these sliders until you get it just the way you want. That's pretty close. We're going to stick with that for now. But you can play around with it however you want to. You know, the, the picture of the wings, by the way, or the butterflies, I got this from Pixabay. So I'll put the link below so you can take this picture and practice and do with the video if you want. And I'll give you this picture too. So I don't usually give out pictures of my kids, but since you can't see her face or anything, you can, I'll put this one on my website so that you can download it and you can practice this along with the video if you want. All right, now, I, now I'm going to do lighting on the wings. Okay, now we've got our shadow. Now I want to go back to the group, our wing layer. And go to layer, new life filter layer, and lighting. I love lighting. And make sure it's attached to the group layer, which it is. And we are going to move it over here. Now what I want to accomplish here is I want to make some shadowy areas down here um, because the sun should be kind of coming at this angle like this. So let's try and make this kind of like the same angle as the sun. And um, her head should be blocking some of the light. Her body should be blocking some of the light. So let's try and move these in and yeah, I might have to move the whole thing up a bit. There we go. Maybe angle it just a little. Okay, and we can change the uh, blend mode. We can play around with that. Soft light, overlay, those are usually the ones. Ah, not that one. Screen is going to be too bright. Multiply is going to be too dark. So we'll probably just keep it normal. But we're definitely going to change the opacity of it a bit, I think. Let's go all the way to zero. This is with no light. Let's move it over just a little at a time. All right, I think maybe we'll move this down a little bit too. Oh, there we go. Okay, see that brightens this up, but it leaves a nice shadow there. So, okay, let's look at the before and after here. See how it just changes the lighting. It kind of helps it blend better or as well as wings on people can blend, right? That doesn't look natural at all, but we're trying to make it look natural. All right, I think, I think that was about it. I think there's one more thing we could do. Let's try it with the wings layer selected here. Go to layer, new life filter layer. We're gonna go to colors and procedural texture. If you've seen my other videos, you know I like this. I use this a lot. All right, let's see if we can apply this. Um, because it, what, what it does, let's, let's use oils. There we go. See, it breaks the light up. So you'll have, you know, shadowy areas and brighter areas. And if you just make it real subtle, but it makes a, a difference. It really does. So, and you can play with the brightness of it. Matter of fact, I think we'll move it up and you can play with this, the turbulence. So it moves it around. We'll just leave it like that. All right. All right. So there it is. So now with the procedural texture layer, we want to make it an overlay. And obviously we need to change the opacity of that. So we're going to start at zero. We're going to bring it up slowly. See, that gives the wing a little texture. You can play around with the different textures. I just like how it does that so easily. It just, I don't know. I love procedural texture. It's fun. So there you go. Well, that's about it for wings. Um, yeah, that looks pretty good. So that's just one way to do wings. There are lots of ways to do wings. And I, like I said before, this is just the first of videos, first of probably many videos I'll do of compositing because I really like compositing. It's so much fun. It's my favorite thing. I do it all the time for no reason at all other than pure enjoyment. So I'll probably be making other videos for sure. So I hope you got something out of this one and found something useful. And don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel for more. Thanks for watching.